Hello viewers and welcome to my channel it's Leonard here from datalearner.com, data marketing consultant and all I do on my channel is help you build the business that you love. So in today's video tutorial we are actually going to look at the little issues that CHY mall users are facing when it comes to withdrawal and I want to address that in this video and I hope you share this video to reach as many persons as you can. So if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published on my channel. Please, subscription does not cost anything. The only way you encourage me to keep making free video tutorials is um, through those subscriptions. So keep them coming and I appreciate all your effort in doing that. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let me just go to my um, personal center here. I actually made a video previously complaining about service centers not doing their work and uplines not helping their downliners and the rest. Please and please, if you are new to this system, before you initiate any withdrawal, before you initiate any withdrawal, don't go and withdraw and then come back to start asking questions. Please and please take note of what I'm going to say in this video and if need be, contact your service center to guide you. Presently now in Nigeria, you can withdraw via Bitcoin, you can withdraw to your bank account. There are no issues with that. But where I want to emphasize is, please and please, if you have it in mind to withdraw using your USDT, don't do that. Let me quickly go to the withdrawal here. And um, the withdrawal method, this one, this particular one, I have to fill it whatever I want to withdraw here. Let's say I just fill in um, some number there. And where it says, please withdraw method. You can withdraw via your BTC wallet. You can withdraw via your bank, but avoid the USDT for now. I, I don't know why it says why more take more time in actually sending money via the USDT. And yet it is a platform. It is one of the payment method that is here. But when you withdraw with this, it takes time. It takes time. In fact, I, I have to cancel mine because it didn't even go through. I have to contact support to cancel the withdrawal request and then now place the withdrawal via Bitcoin. So please and please, wherever you are, whether you're in Nigeria, you are outside Nigeria, wherever you are, if there is a bank, if you have this three uh, withdrawal method attached to your account, please either use the first one or the last one, which is the bank. And the BTC don't try to use USDT. It's like these persons they don't acknowledge this. So I don't know if they do not acknowledge this why they are still living in the cent AEM as one of the options here. So please, if you are out there and you want to withdraw using the USDT, please start canceling those uh, withdrawals. And if you have already placed a withdrawal using USDT and it has taken two weeks now and you've not gotten the money, please contact your service center. To contact support for you to cancel that withdrawal request you can ask them to send you the number send them to cancel the withdrawal request or you cancel you are contact your service center or your upline should be able to help you to cancel that withdrawal request and once they cancel it you can now withdraw either to your bank account or to your bitcoin and another thing i need to point out here is the limit of what you can withdraw per account in a week is 400 points you cannot withdraw more than that so please and withdrawals are done in multiples of 10 that means the minimum withdrawal is 20 points that means if you are not withdrawing 20 you are either withdrawing 30 40 50 i've said this before in my previous video and i'm repeating it again because some of you will still be having uh, i don't know this issue you can only withdraw 20 points or 30 points or you cannot withdraw 25, 35, 21. No, it, are, it is done in multiple of 10. So you can only withdraw 20, 30, 40, 50 upward. So please and please understand these things. And withdrawers, once again, I want to emphasize withdrawers, all withdrawers on CHY mall are processed on Friday. So if you place your withdrawal, friday let's say you place your withdrawal today being friday the time your withdrawal will be processed will be next week friday so you can either place your withdrawals on tuesday wednesday thursday avoid friday so that it can be processed the coming friday that particular friday the next friday the friday of that week 
But if you place it on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just wait until next week, Friday, for that withdrawal to be processed. And once the withdrawal process, remember the whole lot of uh, persons in this platform. So it is not automated. I guess there are people who are there uh, approving these withdrawals one after the other. So it is not automated where you have it in your bank account immediately. So once it is processed, it will be issued, and then your bank will now reflect the 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 money that has been uh, paid into your account or your BTC, as the case may be. So. Um, those of you who are asking how long does it take, how long does it take, Where, whenever your withdrawal is issued, you can either get it Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, as it, depending on um, the, your queue, your number in the queue of those who um, want to withdraw from the platform. So minimum withdrawal from CHY is 20 point, maximum is 400 per account and you can only withdraw once in seven days so if you withdraw now it is after seven days that you will be able to withdraw another money from the platform so these are the little little things that chy modern um, some of us are not too comfortable with you know you cannot have a thousand one one thousand five hundred points in your account and you're finding it difficult to withdraw uh, you will now start placing the withdrawal one after the other and the rest. But even at that, that is just how they have um, actually uh, made the platform to what they have customized the platform to do. So you can only withdraw 400 points and the minimum you can withdraw is 20 points and the 5% charges also applied. So please and please take note of these things and um, if you have any issue, most especially with the USDT, contact your upline, contact your service center. Let them send the request for that withdrawal to be cancelled and you can now withdraw that to, to your bank account or to your BTC wallet. For those of you who are not in uh, World Banks, you mean, some of you who are outside um, um, Nigeria, Ghana or server, you may not be able to withdraw to bank because in setting up this option, the option for bank is not there. So the only way you can withdraw is through BTC wallet. Cryptocurrency is something that is accepted worldwide. Some, of, some persons don't understand this and that is why they think withdrawing through Bitcoin is difficult. Please learn how to withdraw via Bitcoin. I have linked to create free wallet. You can join Luno if you're in Nigeria, if you're in UK. Um, you can use Luno, you can use um, local Bitcoin. Yeah, that one is for everybody. Wherever you are in the world, you can use local Bitcoin um, to actually buy and sell Bitcoin. If you're in Cameroon, if you're in Ghana, you can use Remitano, you can use local Bitcoin. I will leave links to all of these Bitcoin wallet below. Just go ahead and sign up, create a free account, and you can generate a wallet to start receiving. And whenever you receive, most especially with local Bitcoin, you can sell your Bitcoin to your currency and you have it sent to your bank account. So these are the basic things I needed to address in this video. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, share it with your friends, let them know. Um, if you are an upline, please share it with your downline. Let them realize all of these things and be careful when it comes to withdrawal. Don't withdraw your money and then you start having an issue. If you have any pending withdrawal with USDT, contact support to cancel it immediately and just withdraw it back with either Bitcoin or to your bank account directly. So until we see you again in my next video, Take care and if you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published. So I'll see you next in my next video.